Hello and welcome to Pocketwatch here and it's about time for another episode of Tsui no Stella. Let's continue the story because apparently we arrived at our next uh, checkpoint. So we're going to see what kind of instructions are we going to get uh, because I assume it's next checkpoint. I think like they said it's a checkpoint, not the final arrival, right? But still, anyway, so it's like Philia doesn't need oxygen as well. It's uh, what we learned from the previous one. So yep, that's the thing. And now let's go. The arrival, huh? Let's see about what it is all about. The next day, we arrive at our destination. The coordinates match the ones the Duke sent us, but there's nothing here. No buildings, no facilities, no one to welcome us. Oh, this is like actual like end game. Oh, this is like actual end arrival. Oh, okay. So this is the last checkpoint, basically. Not like the checkpoint somewhere like in between, it's just like actually last checkpoint. Okay. Well... Let's see. Just a big empty plane stretching out as far as I can see. They're underground. They're underground, aren't they? We don't have any way to contact our client either. Did our wi uh, wires go across somewhere? If uh, wars come to wars, we might have to turn back. With the meager supplies we have on us, getting back on the, to the eastern continent won't be easy. After hanging uh, around for two days, my turn, you know, received a message. It's from the old man. It contains updated coordinates for the checkpoints. Oh, okay, for the checkpoint. Okay, so he just like made this as the checkpoint just to be safe. It seems like she's lumping me with him. Okay, I input the new coordinates into my navigation I map. Arrow pops up on my retina, showing the way forward. Okay, so, okay, so I was right. This is actually the checkpoint. So, yeah, they made me confused in the beginning here. But yeah, so this is actually somewhere around half. So, I was correct. I mean, correct. Yeah. It's going to get only more difficult, I assume. We're more and more like in territories that we've never been before. Should have no idea what kind of dangers can be there. As outside of the typical ones that are like everywhere, right? Like singularity machines and stuff, but the other side of the continent can have like different singularity machines that he never heard about before. Maybe the doctor will actually tell us about them or something. Like give us some info about dangers ahead. He should have a knowledge about this, right? We should ask about it. About it. I wish I had air conditioner in my room as well. But in the middle of the hot belt, so the temperature is pretty high. We are having a hard time adjusting to it. Okay. She gets the message and points her terminal camera at me. She yeah, doesn't have retinal implants like me, so she has to do it that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> After several more days walking along the lush green coast, we arrived at the designed spot. This time there's something there, a small hut. Okay. It's locked up tight, but we stand in front of the shutter, uh, uh, in front of it. The shutter opens automatically. Although the side of those unnaturally thick blast-proof shutters are stairs leading down. Okay. Oh, Jesus. What is this? I assume that they will give us some kind of supplies for the rest of the journey, right? Because 
They won't just like leave it like this. Like like that, right? We need supplies to continue. I assume. Actually, no, wait. The part of the deal was like you take supplies by your own. I think. So what is this? Is it a train or something? I would assume it's a train. Yeah. ということはこの地下はずっと遠くまで続いているわけだな。ここからはこれに乗るのかな。わからんが、こいつで送ってくれるなら、地上の力よりは100倍楽ができるな。お尻痛そう。I <笑> mean, you can stand in the train. My location indicator isn't pointing towards the train, but deeper into the facility. Okay. We we'll just go in. The space corridors continue for a time, then curve to the side. It's a door here, a solid looking metal one, a lot uh, like the one in the front. Uh, this one also opens automatically when we reach it. The room on the other side is pretty spacious. Storage containers, own shapes and sizes line the walls. Also, that's really fancy. It's like having a dinner with someone. Are we going to have like this like, like transmission cube somewhere like that, and he's like going to be like telegraph, like, uh, get damn it, um, you know, like the message from the guy, and he's like going to be sitting in the in the church, uh, in the chair. Fuck, god damn it, I need to drink. <laughs> Uh, on the chair and like actually like having conversation with us. <laughs> Looks like it's a storage unit. It's probably built to protect against fire and co keep a constant temperature and humidity level. Maybe this was a vault in the past or a place to store important confidential documents. Okay. And it's air conditioned. This facility is uh, live and well. Oh, there's actually someone. Oh, I grabbed my gun. We didn't even like the like realize that there's someone. Holy Jesus! Oh, hello. He have the same pins. I think like the doctor have also these pins, right? Also. He looks like Jude, kinda. Is he a robot, maybe? I mean, look at this, like, this collar, it, it seems like it could be something wear by the android, you know? Like, you have, like, light here, like, uh, determining that it's operational or something. It might be just a choker, but... It could be also an indicator for, like, being an android or something. A man in a suit emerges from the shadows uh, of a nearby wall. Yeah, that's what I assumed. East Grant Koshek, okay, yeah. Android of this. Toast it's no candy in this. So I've been correct. I lower my gun, they're already hiding behind me. It's an incredibly well made and uh, well made droid. It's an elegant, neat, and tidy look about him. Unlike Phila, he's about the height of an adult man. It's been a long time since I saw a suit like that. It hides uh, the contours of the body as if it were made for him. However, he lacks the kind of warmth I feel looking at Philia. Outwardly, he's another perfect creation, but it's so obvious he's not human. Okay. なんでもご利用ください。公職との連絡は取れるのか。投資との通信をおつなぎいたします。しばらくお時間をいただきます。There's the large uh, meeting table in the center of the room. Chairs have been uh, set up all around it. Fancy ones uh, with curved cabrio legs. Showing off his wealth, I suppose. <laughs> Seems like it. It seems comfy, yep. 
our house produced a tea set and brings it to the table. Like the chairs, it's all fine and the thick goods. Just one of the cups would fetch a handsome price. That's uh, if there's any buyers for this kind of stuff around anymore. Yeah, like people don't need fancy stuff anymore. This is pretty much worthless. So, like, wooden cup would be the same worth as this fancy cup in this world. The android sets down a cup uh, of pregnant tea in front of me. He passes by Philia as if she isn't even there. She looks at me as if she's about to burst into tears. Oh, he ignored her because he thinks she's android and she doesn't like drink or eat or anything. He just ignored her totally. Oh. I mean, he's an android and he... Like, no, actually, nobody's supposed to know about Philia, right? So... Should we tell this android actually that she can drink stuff? Or should we just like, say her like, you know what, Philia? You have to just bury yourself, you know, just just bury it for now. <laughs> we need to keep you secret. Okay, he actually is saying, okay. This is the other cup immediately. Okay. Okay. The android doesn't answer. Like with the tea, he doesn't seem to consider feeling a person. Wow. She turns to me again. I ignore her. I can't deal with this right now. So when I finish my tea, the monitor on the desk springs to life and the old man appears. Okay? Let's have another conversation. He doesn't have a pin. I thought that he had a pin. I don't know why I thought he had, maybe because of his white clothes. Oh, it's been a lot of inconvenience. Okay. ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、
The Android refuses my pickup. It remains empty. Is that what this is about? Is that why, they, why he wants a more human android like Philia? ご人的な好奇心で聞くが、都市では目星異物はあったかね。いや、内戦状態で時間の止まったような場所だった。深入りはしなかった。よく生きて出られたものだ。それがまあ、運び屋に求められる技能だからな。とはいえ幸運だった